Lots of tailwind. Welcome to another week. So I'm currently running between the Tuesday seminar, which ended like 10 minutes ago, and my teaching assistant class, which will be in like 20 minutes, up to my um, experimental room to check whether everything is set up perfectly, like the paper on the floor that the ants are going to run on, so that we can finally start our first real experiment. And this is pretty much how... Well, this is weird. And it looks almost good, so I think we can start today actually getting data. Just very briefly, I am pretty happy because I just found out that I can transfer some credits from my master's in Germany to the PhD that I'm currently in. So in order to complete the PhD, you need 45 course credits that are graded in the first two and a half years and then some research credits and dissertation credits to get to, I don't even know how many, like 63. So yeah, now I can transfer 33 credits from my master's, which means that theoretically I wouldn't have had to take any courses outside of the core requirements like seminars and one eco ecology and one evolution course. Yeah, I don't have to care about spending, I don't know, 10, 15 hours per week on courses and, and yeah, I can then use the time for more important things like research or making vlogs. Um, so that's like, whew! Pretty great. So I'll just quickly tell you what happened this week. I know I should rather show than tell, but I don't know, this is what it is. Um, oh, by the way, these are sleeves for bicycling and um, they're very helpful if you still want to have a shirt on and, uh, and then you can just strip them down. Around. Anyway, so on Wednesday, my undergrad started the first recording of the real experiments. We got, we got some errors, some problems, we have to fix things. And yeah, just in general, the uh, data analysis, so processing the video so that we can actually gain some data out of that, that takes a long, long time. Because for just one day of recording, that uh, is two hours, uh, we get 200 gigabytes of video data. And then we have to process them into images, which are even more than that. And then we have to do that something in MATLAB and so on. And yeah, it takes a long time. That's why today I wrote to the HPC, the computer cluster, supercomputer thing on campus. And they told me that, yeah, maybe we can do something. And then I can just give my hard drive to them and uh, let them run some code. And then all of this should be done in maybe a half an hour rather than in like six hours of you know transferring converting files into something else and letting code run so that's um, promising so yesterday i sent another travel grant proposal this time to the north american section of the international union of the science or something like that on social insects. Uh, what does the S stand for? I don't know. If I get accepted then I will get like $800 or so for flying down to Brazil in the summer, which I am very excited about. And uh, on Monday there is another deadline for a similar thing for the insect science department here on campus. So they might or might not also give me like $800 or so if I get accepted. Now I'm gonna clean up a little bit of that mess here that is my desk so that I can really work here again. By the way, I am um, just growing a beard, not because I think it looks good, but just to find out what it, what it feels like and what it looks like and I don't know, just curious. Ah, much better. 
Now I'm basically on my way to meet with Adam who promised to uh, help me with the data analysis for the ATA leaf cutting end project that I mentioned I think last week. So he will essentially do like half of my job and um, yeah so I hope that we can mature this into something that we can publish and then he can get a uh, co-authorship. So Adam has a background in computer science which is very helpful for analyzing big data or data in general. So yeah he will code something for me um, to spatially map all the utter leaf cutting end nests in a certain uh, forest plot and then we can test some hypotheses and answer some questions about their influence on the forest structure there. <laughs> The reason why Adam is helping me so much and basically doing all the work for me is uh, that it is also kind of his own project and he will probably do something about that in his thesis and yeah so this is maybe kickstarting this project for his own research. So in the end of these five years I hope that I can have maybe two or three collaborations with other people from my cohort. That would be pretty cool to have like co-authorship with my friends. That would be pretty awesome. But yeah, I don't know how it's gonna happen. I think we just have to want it and work together, find a problem that we can solve together, where we can synergize. But a lot of such collaborations fail because it is often just a side project and for me it most of the collaborations would also only be side projects, so they get delayed over and over again and then people just don't get together and finish writing up things. So I shall make a specific plan to actually pull it off. I forgot to film an outro. Sorry if this was a very short and kind of bad vlog. I am again or still all over the place with my brains. And in a week there will be spring break, so I will have again the opportunity to catch up with editing. So. See you next week.